Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come and release this revelation. I think some, some people already have it, but for some who don't get the revelation in their spirit, I'm just going to release it. And I'm only release it because, releasing it because I did a video um, on my free speech channel. All right, on my free speech channel um, concerning the three sixes and concerning what's going on and how it's going to fade out. But brothers and sisters, you know, I've done videos and, and, and oftentimes brothers and sisters say to me, oh, Sister Carrie, and you say that you know what is going to go away. They're going to stop giving you know what. And, um, and it's true. I stand by what I say. I stand by what the Holy Spirit revealed in my heart and I share with the body of Christ. They're going to stop you know what? They will. They're going to stop you know what for a very short period of time. The window is going to be very, very short. Three months, six months, I don't know. But it's going to be very, very short. Okay? And they're going to introduce the three sixes which is the mark of the beast. Because I know some people right now say, no, Sister Carrie, and you see, you don't believe that what's going on is the mark of the beast. No, it's not. Because the Bible stipulates how you're going to get the mark of the beast. And I stand by the word of God. Hallelujah. I stand totally by the word of Yah. So they're going to come and they're going to say, oh, you know, we're going to get, we're going to do away with, you know, this thing. And we're going to introduce a beautiful the way all they're gonna talk about this thing brothers and sisters is gonna is gonna make it look like heaven on the earth because they're gonna come and they're gonna lie literally lie they're, they're lying but some people are gonna be deceived unfortunately whose name is not written in the lamb's book of life they're the ones that's gonna go for this thing so the wicked is gonna come and they're gonna say, oh, we've got a beautiful device. They're gonna call it device. <laughs> we have a beautiful technology device. We've been working on it for years. That's what they're gonna say. We've been working on it for years and we've trialed it, we tested it, and it's good to go. It's beautiful. I nearly made the 666 there, God forgive me, please. They're gonna say, oh, it's good to go. They're gonna come to you. They're gonna say, "Oh, when you, you know, when you have this device inside of you, it's gonna filter out. You know what going on? It's gonna filter out cancer. If you got cancer, it's gonna detect. If your body's got cancer, it's gonna burst. It's gonna kill those cancer cells. It's gonna get rid of HIV. It's gonna get rid of syphilis. It's gonna get rid of the flu. Every sickness." Every sickness that you can think of, it's going to filter it, it's going to clean the blood. That's what they're going to tell you. This is prophetic, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. I don't know if anybody's talking about this, but this is what the Lord revealed in my spirit. That's what they're going to say. They said, they said it's going to filter the blood. Hallelujah. They're gonna, it's going to make the blood clean. That's what they're going to say. It's going to make the blood clean and beautiful. You won't be sick. They said, once you have this device inside of you, you're not going to be sick. It's going to make you look younger. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to the prophetic brothers and sisters? I know for some people, you're listening to me and think, oh, this girl is far-fetched. But what I'm telling you is prophecy. It's a will come to pass. And one of the things they're going to use, they're going to say, oh, it's going to rejuvenate your blood. You're going to look younger. That's what they're going to say. No more Botox. <laughs> it's going to do everything so they're going to say that's it and that's why babies and children are going to get it because we know that when you have a young baby they go to their nurses or the doctor to get their little stick little pokings you know to keep them away from measles and mums and rubella and all of that but no no more poking they're going to insert that thing they said the baby children don't need that anymore because it's going to clean the blood that's all going to lie and tell you it's going to sound so good i'm talking about it but when they begin to talk about it brothers and sisters it's like introducing i've got a new phone and i i've got a new device i got a new phone but the way they talk about this new phone 
the Samson, whatever, whatever it is. It looks so beautiful. I just think, whoa, really can do all of that? Whoa. So when they big, if that's on their phone that they talk about, when they come with this wicked device and they be going to tell you that you're not going to be sick ever again, that's what they're going to lie. God almighty, they're going to lie. They're going to lie, brothers and sisters. So now they say now, you know, no more, no more, um, in the skin no more of that okay so they're gonna sell this to the people and that's the physiological bit I'm talking about that's just a physical bit that I'm talking about the physio the physiological bit the blood and looking good and no more sicknesses as if they're God but the lying and then they're gonna come and said, oh, it doesn't stop here. That's what they're going to say. Uh, doesn't stop here. That's the physiology bit. You know, they're going to say, oh, you don't need to walk with credit cards. You don't need to walk with money. Nobody can rob you anymore. Because that same device, that same thing that they put in your right hand, that same chip that they put in your right hand, they're going to tell you that that is your money, that you are walking money and that nobody can kill you. They might say, oh, what if they kill me and try to get the chip out? No, they're going to, the, the way that, but the way how they're going to explain it, you're going to believe that, okay, this is it. Nobody can kill you to chop off your hands to get this thing out because they're going to say it's individualized. That's what they're going to say. It's individualized. <laughs> and so now. You don't need any money or anything like that. They're going to say, oh, you don't, you know, tracking, we can track you. Anywhere you go, if they try to kidnap you, try to kill you, and not with your children, they're going to use it to bait up the parents for the kids. And what's going to happen, hallelujah, yes, Lord, there's going to be a, a crisis where kids are going to go missing. They're going to, they're going to plan it. They're going to plan it, brothers and sisters, where they're going to make parents get scared, right? And a crisis is going to happen all over the world where children are going to go missing. And it's going to get parents scared. And they're going to make, you know, oh, let the kids stay at the tracker because once they have the, the device in their hands, our children are safe. This thing is going to do everything that you ever think of. Everything that you ever think of. It's going to be everything, brothers and sisters. But let me tell you something. If you ever, ever stretch out your right hand or give them your forehead and let them put that thing in you, you are done for. You are living Satan. You're a walking devil. You're going to hell. Don't bother come to us for prayer. Right now, with what's going on, we can pray for people. We can pray and ask God to have mercy because it's not the mark of the beast. But when this thing roll out, when they come with this new device and tell you that it's number one technology in the world and all the beautiful things it's going to do, it's a wicked lie. We talk about the creepers. We talk about the creepers coming through whatever. But when you get this device, brothers and sisters, the Bible says that men... In those days, men will seek to die and death shall flee from them. Revelation, this is Revelation. Revelation also says that there will be greasome sores on their body. Greasome sores. You imagine that, brothers and sisters. Greasome sores. That's a sore that's in pain, anguish. And it's caused by this wicked lie. That the wicked fallen angel of sell you and you believe it just like what's going on everybody's running for you know what they're selling it beautifully but it's a lie it's, this is all a test run but when the real thing comes once you see they fade out what's going on and they introduce the three sixes in the form of a chip that is it you know what time is it you don't have to it's not if buts or maybe anymore this is it literally we're in the mark of the beast situation you mustn't take it underneath no circumstances because 
they're setting up their new world order, brothers and sisters. But yeah, this is it's, it's, it's around the corner, right around the corner. It's the technology's here. The technology is already here. The the what the wait it's not it's not really what they're waiting for, really, to be honest with you. But what's left to put in it is the DNA of Satan. That's it. The literal the literal DNA of a Lucifer. And once that thing goes inside of you, you cannot get it out. Because it All that you see that's going on, brothers and sisters, is a test run. It's all a test run for what is to come. All a test run, brothers and sisters. But the Lord is gearing you, gearing you up for the real thing that is to come. The real authentic thing that is to come. And it is coming. And it will be here very soon, brothers and sisters. I only pray that I found worthy to go into the wilderness. Pray to the Most High, yeah, that I'm found worthy. So, yes, be bold, be strong, be courageous. I've been warning, ain't it? Be bold, be strong. You're going to need to be bold. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be courageous in these end times. Walk with Yah. Just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High, Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name, amen and amen, amen. Uh, let us say the benediction together. Jude chapter 1, we agree with the servant of the Most High, Yah, how we, how we express his, how beautiful, how powerful, how marvelous or uncreated Yah is. Uh, you can read with me. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to prepare present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.